In this video, we will compare TVS Jupiter 110 and Suzuki Axis 125. First of all, edge capacity. Here you can see, in terms of edge capacity, Suzuki Axis dominates. Its edge capacity is around 125 cc. But in Jupiter 110, the edge capacity is around 110 cc. But if you compare the power among these two, more power is for Suzuki Axis 125. 8.5 bhp is the maximum power. But in TVS Jupiter, 7.7 bhp is the maximum power. If you compare the torque among these two, more torque is Suzuki Axis 125. 10 Nm is the maximum torque. But in Jupiter 110, 8.8 Nm is the maximum torque. Now, when we come to the undersea storage, here more undersea storage is for Suzuki Axis 21.8 liter, and there is a difference of 0.8 liter between these two in terms of edge capacity, and more is for Suzuki Axis. Now, let's consider the filter capacity. Here, in terms of filter capacity, more filter capacity is for TVS Jupiter 110. Around 5.3 liter is the filter capacity, but in Suzuki Axis, you can see. Around 5 liter is the filter capacity. Now let's go to mileage. In both of them, the mileage you will be getting is around 55 to 60 kmpl on road. If you ride it economically, definitely you will get more than 55 kmpl. Now when we come to the wheelbase, you can see here more wheelbase is for Jupiter 110. 12 75 mm is the wheelbase. But in Suzuki Axis, you can see 12 65 mm is the wheelbase. That means 10 mm difference is there between these two in terms of wheelbase. Now, if you come with the curve weight among these two, more curve weight is for Jupiter 110, that's for the disc variant. But for the drum variant, the curve weight is around 104 kg. But in Suzuki Axis, you can see around 103 kg is the curve weight. Here, we have to specify the braking type. Synchronized braking technology is used in Jupiter 110. But in Suzuki Axis, combi braking system is used. In both of them, when you apply the back brake, both front and back will be applied simultaneously. This concept is entirely different from ABS. Now, if you come with the seat height, you can see more seat height is for Suzuki Axis 125, 773mm. But in Jupiter 110, 765mm is the seat height. When we come to the ground clearance, you can see here more ground clearance is for Jupiter 110, 163mm and there is a difference of 3mm between these two in terms of ground clearance. Now let's go to the third length. Here more length is for Suzuki Axis 125, 1870mm but in Jupiter 110 you can see 1834mm is the total length. Now let's consider compression ratio. Here more compression ratio is for Jupiter 110. And one more thing, in both of them the compression ratio is in the medium range. Now when we come to the cooling system, air cooling is used in these two scooters for cooling the engine. And second you can see the fuel derive system used is fuel injection in both of them. Now let's consider top speed. Here, more power and more edge capacity is for Suzuki Axis. It will be much quicker for reaching the top speed of around 90 to 92 kmph on road. But in Jupiter 100, you can see the top speed is around 78 to 85 kmph. That means more top speed is for Suzuki Axis 125. Finally, guys, when you compare the price, here Suzuki Axis got more edge capacity, more power, more torque, more top speed. For that, you had to pay the price also. In Jupiter 110, you are getting decent number of power with adequate mileage and storage. On the screen, you can see the actual price of the base models of these two scooters. So guys, that's the this video. If you like this video, press the like button, share this video maximum. Support channel. If you are in doubt, write in comment section. Thank you.